Hi, I'm Christian Jonjic, and I'm a massive failure. And I understand that every working day will be filled with problems and mistakes, but that's okay. It's taken time to accept, but it's all been in the pursuit of success. So I came to this conclusion. I need to try harder, not to be successful, but to fail. I've been in games for over 18 years, most of that in AAA. I'd consider myself successful. I thought I was the shit. But clearly Lana thought otherwise. Failure, yeah, I mean, let's ask Christian. I mean, it's been ages since he worked on anything relevant. I mean, I'm not going to lie, that cut deep, but she was right. So like most people, I started with the Google definition of failure. With over 130 million hits to choose from, I picked the top of the page and thought, yeah, that'll do. But as I read, it started to hit home and I realized that, yeah, she was right. I'd experienced pretty much all of this at every single stage of my career. I've worked on projects that have been commercial and or critical flops. I've been frustrated and unfulfilled on projects that have been hard to find any sort of love with. And I've been part of a balls up so big that thought it could take on GTA with a fraction of the headcount, none of the experience, and be a success because I had a soundtrack by Eminem's backing group. <sighs> I've been burnt out and had days where I've literally forgotten how to animate. And I've had some form of creative block on an almost weekly basis. I've been laid off twice, and narrowly avoided a third time, which is enough to make anyone a little paranoid. I thought I was reaching the top of the animation tree, an animation director for one of the biggest companies in the industry. But the more I looked, the more I realized that maybe the actual definition of failure oh, was me. The ultimate example of fake it until you make it. I mean, it's been 10 years since I shipped anything relevant, right? But then I realized I'm still in the industry after 18 years. I still love my job, and I at least seem to have the respect of my peers. But maybe my relationship with failure wasn't that bad after all. Maybe there was even some simple rules or wisdom I could pass on. Or maybe I could just show you a bunch of failure gifts. <laughs> but that would just be a dick move. So rule number one, don't be a dick. When I was laid off uh, for the second time, I created a showreel of such quality companies would be salivating at the chance to have me join their team. A friend of mine called me from a big AAA studio and they were super excited to speak to me. And the job bar fit me perfectly. I ticked all the boxes. It might as well have said, be called Christian and just be left at that. So I went up to meet the animation director, bursting with confidence. I was super relaxed. This will be easy, I thought. So it felt right for me to tell them what they did wrong on their award-winning multi-million unit selling game and walk out the interview thinking, yep, completely nailed it. So two days, two days go by and I eventually get the call. But it's a no. I didn't understand. I was so honest. It turns out they thought it was more arrogant. I was devastated, but on reflection, they probably had a point. So be warned, the industry is small, everyone knows everyone, so just don't be a dick. Rule number two, do something you suck at. If you want to work in the game industry, get comfortable with failing, and I mean a lot. Seek it out. Get out of your comfort zone. Failure is one of the most important tools you'll have at your disposal. And this is where most of the growth happens. Practice, it's free. Animating is the only way to become a better animator. So keep trying, get frustrated, and do it again. Have your animation director review your work and say, yes, yeah, okay. And then just rips your last two days of work apart and instantly improves it. I mean, this is when you think you suck. But keep practicing. Then one day, he'll come back, but this time, the sword swing is balletic. The weight shifts are solid, and the posing, oh, the posing. You'll feel amazing. Congratulations now. Just go and do it again. So rule number three, ask for feedback. Have you ever asked for feedback from a failed interview? I did, and it really hurt. But feedback is a fundamental part of learning, and most recruiters will be happy to find out what went wrong. Sure, it feels shitty, but it often is not reflection on your skill, more right place, wrong time. And not right now doesn't mean never. If you can, go work for a smaller studio, experiment, try new things, make mistakes, <laughs> do cool shit, all the things that are really hard to do in AAA because of the risk. But always ask for feedback, accept the feedback, and most of all, use the feedback. Rule number four, be supportive. Let your team make bold decisions and take ownership of their work. If they struggle, don't take that opportunity away and do it yourself. No one will have learned anything. A better option is to review what led to the failure and could you have provided more support and clarity. Help your team through rough patches by working through the problem, sharing your process. Break it down. Find an easy win. This will work wonders. Oh, and uh, praise. This also helps if you want to keep asking them, if they want to keep asking you for support, allowing room for failure. Finally, failure is temporary. Don't take a failure personally and try to avoid repeating the same mistake over and over. Experience tells me that all game dev problems have a solution and there will be a workaround. And I look forward to that success. But if you just accept failure and not know why, you may as well have not failed at all. Not failing is in itself 
a failure. <laughs> anyway, don't fail to catch me on all the social medias if you want to get in touch. And I'm working on some really cool stuff with Lucid Games that I can't wait to share with you. But for the time being, enjoy the rest of your GDC. I'm Christian John Duke, and remember, if you aren't failing, just try harder. <laughs>